these are a few things I've been loving in September. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hi if you're new, I'm Lydia and today I'm going to be sharing my September favourites. Before we get into the video, let me know down below what your September favourites are, I would love to know. I haven't actually done a monthly favourites on my channel before, so this is the first video. I have done a lockdown favourites, obviously things that I love during lockdown, but I thought it would be a good idea to start a monthly little thing on my channel. Also, just a little side note, I wanna say thank you for 200 subscribers. I did not think that this would happen. I know 200 subscribers isn't a lot to a lot of people, but to me it is. I am thankful and grateful for every single one of you. Thank you so much if you're subscribed. If you aren't subscribed and you want to, then make sure you are because I've got lots of new content coming up. So the first thing I've been loving is my background. So if this is your first time watching me, then and you won't know but I changed my background at the start of September to fit in with like spooky Halloween autumnal vibe and I just love it I changed my um, little sign here so every so often on my videos I change it to like a little Halloween spooky quote so this time it says boo to you but in the next video I will change it so that's pretty cool I do like this little sign um, I got this quite a while ago a few years ago and I just absolutely love it also I have displayed two of my favorite lounge fly bags behind me so my shock nightmare before christmas bag and then also this new bag which i got not long ago it's the new haunted mansion ghost host bag that i got from shop disney uk make sure you are subscribed because i've got a little review coming of this bag i know it's a little bit late because i bought this bag nearly a month ago now but i want to do like a separate video on this bag because i just absolutely love it and also in the background i have two nightmare before christmas funko pops so I have the Sally one and the Jack one, classic Nightmare Before Christmas characters. If you know me, you'll know how much I love Nightmare Before Christmas as well. So yeah, I had to have them in my background too. And then if you have been watching me for a little bit, you will know that I recently bought some Amazon LED strip lights. And that's what you can see behind me because I felt like my background needed a little bit of color and just needed a bit of like separation between me and like the background. And they are amazing. You can actually change the color of them so you can get all different colors it comes with like a remote so I did stick them on my dresser but I also put them around my wardrobe and then at the back of my bed as well because they were long enough at night when I'm sat reading a book in bed I can just put these lights on and it just creates such a nice atmosphere and they're really bright as well um, for the evening which is really nice I will leave the links down below in case you want to buy them as well they were really inexpensive and they were so easy to put up as well the next two things I've got to show you are stationary items I have been loving these two things for when I'm planning YouTube videos or when I'm just planning out my weeks so I have this notebook which is massive and it's just like lined lined paper inside this is great for when I'm planning social media content so for my Instagram and also for YouTube as well I've got all of my notes all of my ideas in this notebook and it's just amazing also it is massive and it's Disney which is just perfect so I think one of my Disney friends got this for me for my birthday maybe like last year or something so it's got Mickey peeping there which is so cute and then on the top it says growing up is overrated which I definitely agree with so yeah this is just perfect this is from Typo if you don't know Typo is like a stationery um, shop in the UK and they do a lot of Disney stuff and like pop culture items the next thing is also from Typo and it's also something that one of my friends got me for my birthday or for Christmas and it is a desk calendar and it's a Marvel one which is just fab so it's got all of these like um, Marvel photos behind the months which I just think are amazing like look at the artwork so cool it's just your classic calendar it's got all the dates in like little boxes they are like small boxes so you can't fit everything in here which is why I like having the notebook you also have like important dates down here which is great it also comes with stickers as well which I just think are amazing I haven't used a lot of them but these are what they look like so you've got birthday ones you've got like lunch date party time anniversary hair dentist appointments and uh, you've got some little airplanes on there so for like when you're going on holiday but obviously <laughs> 
coronavirus has happened this year so um, I haven't used any of them up. I'm definitely going to keep these for next year because I'll probably get more use out of them next year. But yeah, this is what the front of it looks like. The next items have also been an essential because it's 2020. Face masks! So we have got quite a lot of face masks now but you can never have too many. I've got the Shop Disney UK ones here because we've been using them the most. Um, if you've seen one of my weekly vlogs then you'll know that we ordered um, two packs. The pack that we've been using the most are the Mickey and Minnie classic designs. So you've got a mini one, you've got a Mickey one there, you've got a black and white mini and then also this blue Mickey head one. We got these in a medium but we got the other pack in a large and they are actually too big so my mum is currently sewing them and like uh, doing some alterations on them so then they can properly fit our faces. But these fit really really well, they're so comfy. The next ones I'm going to show you are from an Etsy shop so I'll put her links down below. But we got two so I got this Mickey one and it just says Mickey and it's got like little Mickey heads, it's grey and then it just kind of folds up like that it's really really nice material and it's also got a little pocket to fit your filters in the next one is for my brother so it's a marvel one it's also got wolverine at the bottom which i think is really cool but you've got captain america and then these are the straps really nice really comfortable and i like how there's a little pocket for your filters as well i'm going to go on to books next so i'm gonna share some books that i've read during september that i really love actually all of the books that i've read during september have been great and i've loved them if you want to read my full reviews on all of these books then i will leave my goodreads page down below so you can check that out the first book i'm going to show you i was reading in august and then it kind of went through into the start of september it's the midnight sun twilight book if you don't know this is like the new book that came out for the twilight saga and it's all about edward's perspective so the whole book is written in edward's perspective which is just great and i really really enjoyed this book this was a massive read though over 700 pages um so it did take me quite a while to read which is why it went into september but I absolutely love this book. It was so good and I really hope she brings out more books that are based around Edward's perspective because I think it's really, really interesting. It goes into some detail about the Cullens as well, which I absolutely love and I definitely recommend it to any Twilight fan out there. The next book I read was Carrie and I loved this book. I can't believe it's taken me this long to read Carrie and to read one of Stephen King's books. It got me in the Halloween movie as well which is just great for this time of year. I love this book and I will definitely reread it again in the future and my next read is Misery by Stephen King as well so I'm really excited to read that book. Let me know down below if you've read any of Stephen King's books I'd love to know. Then the final book that I read in September was actually on my Kindle. I've not used my Kindle in so long so I was really happy to pick this back up again. I finished this book a few days ago and I just absolutely adored it. It's called Five Years. This is what the front of the cover looks like. It's called in five years by Rebecca Searle. I think that's how you say her name. And this is a book that came out in 2020 and it's actually set in 2020. Well, the kind of first part is, but it's actually about 2025. So obviously in five years from now, which I think is crazy. It's really heartbreaking and they do go into detail about cancer. So if that's like a sensitive topic, like a really sensitive topic for you, then maybe don't read this book because it is heartbreaking and, and really sad. But I really love this book. It was definitely a book that I needed to read now. I absolutely love love this book because the moral of the story is to not take life for granted and that you can't plan out your life as much as you plan it out it's still going to be spontaneous and life is just going to happen and crazy things and bad things and good things are going to happen that are just out of your control and you just have to deal with it in the best way that you can so it was definitely a book that I needed to read at this point in my life I love this book and I would really recommend it so that is it for my September favorites video I really hope you enjoyed watching Watching and just seeing little bits and pieces that I've been loving in September. I probably will do a longer one in October once I kind of get into the routine doing these videos. I don't really know like what I'm going to include every month so kind of just like trying to figure that out at the minute. But thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me and also make sure to check out my other videos after this video and like I said at the start make sure to comment down below what your September favourites are. I would love to know. Make sure to give this video a little thumbs up as well and I will see you in my next video. Bye!